Hello, fellow shinobi. This is Ninja Sifu, the second child. I'm redoing the Project Baki 2 styles tier list, and this time I'm going to make sure that uh, opinions of other people get involved. But I will try to defend my placings of last time. Uh, but not every style is going to be in the same tier, all right? Especially Capoeira. You know what? I'm going to rank Capoeira A tier first. Uh, it still has the ability to try to infinite combo. I haven't hit it yet. But people can slide out of it, you know. Uh, but the thing is, Handstand Barrage is such a good move that I feel like it's the best move for continuing a combo. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, Handstand, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then Armada Kick is like a mixed like a mixed bag you either get no knockback and you just get the stun or you get knockback uh, so yeah it, it's always a wild card with armada kick link's tail is just one of those moves like it's like double roundhouse from karate people might not have a use for it but it still does damage uh it can still be added to like an infinite combo which i've, I've still i've never been able to infinite combo someone but just the damage alone with um with handstand barrage and armada kick, I think it's deserving of A tier. Uh, I don't know why I put it at B tier. Maybe I, I said it was too slow, right? I said it's something that had to do with range. Uh, I had a bit of trouble trying to chase. Um, I tried relying like over relying on Capoeira's range, so I couldn't really hit. But when I did hit, I, I it's fine. The stun is fine. I I think the stun is pretty good actually. Um. Yeah, I'm putting Kapoeira at A tier right away because I said I would. Uh, it's not S tier because um, I've seen people just absolutely know what they're doing and they defeat Kapoeira people like quickly. I think Kapoeira people are too used to trying to do the infinite combo nowadays, so uh, people are able to dodge, you know, or people might be able to block. Blocking's a thing uh yeah I, it's it's a good style all right i i think it's a tier now i used to think it was b tier it's a tier moving on so another style is boxing i'm gonna put that in a uh boxing is all right uh, I, I don't see it as s tier material but it's very easy to use i finally used it a lot uh recently and the bread and butter combos of uh you know the the two moves hawk rush and liver blows i think i find them the most easiest to continue my m1 combos right so i can't really say it's just the starter style now people can still range out people can still stick with boxing but my opinions with both of these styles really changed once i really tried them out like seriously tried them out so I can see why people were kind of shocked that I put it, both of them in B tier. So yeah, they get a bump up. Uh, Rush still gets A tier. I wouldn't say that Rush is the best. It still can do its combo extending with the barrage and all. But the damage, if it, if it was original damage, I'd put it in S tier right away. Like, oh my gosh. Like... Pre-nerfed, Rush was like the best style in the game, and everyone knew it. So when the nerf came, I've seen less and less Rush players. And they branched out to either Capoeira, Breakdancing, and all that, and it's just, whoa. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Breakdancing, I'm gonna say that Breakdancing is A tier as well. Uh, only because of the nerfs, you know? I think breakdancing is one of those styles that probably either got a shadow nerf or like got multiple minor nerfs because it had uh, essence, which is a a power up boost. You know, like one of those modes. It's like Tiger Stance from Kung Fu. It's supposed to do 1.3 times uh, damage boost. Uh, I can see it barely, and I mean barely. Um, I think it's still A tier. People can still infinite combo with it. Uh, man, it's hard. Because I don't want to put infinite combos in S. 
but at the same time, if you can't beat it all the time, like you can't beat it more than you lose to it, maybe it's deserving of S tier. Uh, people say that Breaker is a better Capoeira, and I'm really conflicted with myself. I, I probably put it at A. Uh, I'm really curious to see uh, people's reaction if I put it in S. I might forget about uh, rearranging at the end of the video. I don't know. Maybe it stays in S, maybe not. I don't know if the nerf even mattered, but if you get uh, Essence in there, I think that uh, the Barrage is going to do the same amount of damage. Maybe a bit less, but it's still... If it can still stun enough for you to do another M1 after it, I think it's pretty good. Uh, Capoeira, maybe an S tier as well. Maybe I'll put it in A. Uh, what Capoeira lacks and what Breakdancing has is mobility with uh, one of its skills. And one of the skills is B-Spin. Uh, it travels pretty good it, amount. Like it travels a good amount of distance. Um, I think you can hit stack with it. I'm not sure. I have to test that out whenever I can. But yeah, break dancing. Maybe it's an S tier. I might change my mind. I don't know. Retsu. All right, I'll put Retsu at A still. Uh, even with the barrage it has, um, I don't know. Actually, should I put an S? Mm, okay, all right, no, okay. I'm gonna put it in S, but hear me out, hear me out, all right? Uh, I've lost to actually a lot of Bailin Kenpo users, Retsu style users, uh, because I couldn't out hit them. I couldn't strike first. I think that the M1 for Retsu is pretty fast, if not the fastest. Uh, it's probably not the most ranged, but if you can hit it faster, uh, then I can, then, oh my gosh, you, you, that's a free move right there. You can barrage, like four hits into barrage, and uh, you can probably keep going, right? Invisible qua uh, quash, squash, yeah. Invisible squash blinds you, uh, which is actually a pretty big danger now that I think about it. It's annoying, and that's what makes it work. It's annoying, so you're kind of off your game. If you can see through the um, the blur somehow, maybe you know what is coming and uh, you're able to block it or move around or dash or whatever, that's good for you. I can't do that. I'm I'm not that good of a fighter. But yeah, I think Retsu, uh, with the projectile it has, with, um, with the uh, barrage, uh, Musun Ken can... Uh, Musunke, 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 the, the no inch punch can hit stack, I think. It's hard to hit stack with Retsu though, so I'm not always consistent with that, but you can still do that. Uh, I don't know if you can, if it's still a combo ender or a combo extender. Maybe it's a combo extend, uh, no, it's a combo ender. Maybe there's too much pushback. And the execution move, you can do it at red health maybe red orange around there it's it's a basically like a quicker m1 combo like it's immediate guaranteed if you hit it of course you're not going to hit it all the time you might lag out but for now retsu is an s tier for now for now i'm still thinking uh how long has it been eight minutes and i've gone through five styles that's all right that's all right all right uh i'm gonna put there we go. You know why street fighting is E tier. I feel bad for all the street fighting mains out there. Um, but you have no skills. Uh, well, you have no moves. I wouldn't really say you have no skill. Because skill can be interpreted in different ways. I'm saying that you have no moves. You know, if, if there is a simple like guard breaking punch that street fighting has... Or like, a, like maybe a simple kick, a guard break kick. Um, maybe people would use street fighting for the lulls. Or maybe some people might get serious using street fighting. But for now, uh, I can't really make it better than any of the actual styles out there. So street fighting still belongs in E tier. My opinion hasn't really changed. 
Uh, getting this one out of the way, it's pretty easy to tell, easy to use, maybe more easier than boxing. Uh, because of the mobility it has, tri kick is all right uh, of a combo extender. Line axe can hit stack, as you can see from one of my previous videos. I've confirmed that you can hit stack with it. Uh, maybe on PC only, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, stepping spin kick can infi uh, not infinite combo. It's pretty easy to infinite combo with uh, Renal Taekwondo, or so I've heard. Uh, I think it's the most popular style right now. I've seen a lot of 1v1s with it. And uh, yeah, the people say it's S tier. So uh, I might put it at S tier. Uh, maybe I'll, yeah, I agree with the people. My opinion hasn't changed with Renewal Taekwondo at all. Kenjutsu might falter though. I put it at S. Um, but people have been placing it at A. Uh, maybe it's because of the, the damage. Is it damage or is it like the barrage? Maybe the moves are kind of... Uh, nerfed I'm not sure anymore I'm actually not sure but the range it has the best uh, m1 range in the game or at least it should uh, so uh, I might keep it at s still because uh, uh, like it's the most dangerous of style to approach because you, you don't always know if they're gonna m1 or not which most likely they will take advantage of m1 and just hit you first but yeah, I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I'll move it down to A tier, but I haven't found my reasoning yet to push it down to A tier. I think it's still like one of the best styles, one of the uh yeah, one of the best styles in the game. Uh I don't know. Alright, sumo A tier. Uh the only thing holding sumo down is the speed. That's it. Like, if it were any faster, I believe I would put an S because the tools it has is so good. Defensively, it is, like, pretty dang good with the stomp, uh, with the push, with hyper armor. The headbutt's pretty quick. Like, my opinion hasn't changed. I'm keeping Sumo at A tier. That was a pretty easy one to get through. Taekwondo, on the other hand, might be our first B tier. You know, B tier... Uh, it's, it's still solid, all right? B tier is still solid. But when I put it at A, I think I said I was being generous with Taekwondo. Uh, man, it, it's, it's cool, all right? It's pretty cool. Kick course is cool. Snap kicks are pretty cool, too. It's just that I have a hard time trying to combo extend with them, you know? I think there's too much knockback. Uh, nowadays with taekwondo or maybe it always had too much knockback to begin with but yeah snap kicks isn't really uh what i depend on for a combo extend i expect kicks course to be the combo extender but sometimes it just pushes far like a bit too far out of my reach and i might end up being punished uh with an m1 combo myself because it pushed back so far that I couldn't really take advantage of the stun afterwards. And Tornado Kick, it's not the best move. It's still a move. You can still pull it out. It just, it has a slow startup. I don't know if it has hyper armor or anything, but man, it, it Tornado uh, tornado Kick is slow. Um, in Project Baki standards, it's pretty slow. It, the startup, like when you start to twist, you can get jabbed by... Uh, by rush or a fast style like boxing maybe you can get rushed and it might cancel out tornado kick i haven't been sure about it like i've used taekwondo for quite a bit it's all right uh it's just that i the main problem is the knockback and i think i don't know if a lot of people agree with me putting taekwondo into b tier but because of the knockback and because it's kind of hard to combo extend with it so I'll leave it at B. Uh, military got a nerf. I might put it at A tier. Now, uh, yeah, the range of military got nerfed. The hitboxes are a bit harder now. You might have to jump, or you might not have to. I I don't know, but either way, 
I don't know why I put it at eights here as well. Like I'm having trouble placing styles now because there's so many opinions that I have to take into account. Uh, I still believe that it's good, all right? It's just that, okay, it has a worse execution. It's kind of worse gameplay-wise than uh, Retsu because at least with Retsu, you just know that when your opponent is red health, you can do the execution, but with um with military you need 15 hp and uh that's almost only two tenths of people's health so you need to be like you need to get them really low in order to do the execution and uh oh man yeah i don't know what caused military's fall from grace i don't know why i don't think it's s tier anymore like i'm not really too sure myself so yeah Kung Fu in B tier. What do I think? Uh, hmm, barrages. Eh. Barrages are eh. Uh, you can infinite combo with walls. Maybe that'll boost it up. Maybe I forgot to count walls. But then again, if you get someone walled, you are most likely going to win every exchange out there. Unless you lag. Because... The wall is stopping them from being knocked back too much, and that can be infinite combo uh, worthy of almost every style. So put it at A or B. I'll probably put it at B. The counter isn't really the best right now. Uh, I think that counter... Yeah, counter is not supposed to do that much damage. Uh, let me see here. I'm thinking. Uh, crane kick knocks people back you can hit stack but i can only teach pc players how to hit stack i can't really teach xbox or mobile players right now because i i don't own an xbox uh i don't install i never had mobile roblox installed anymore i don't have it so kung fu and beats here tiger stance is still kind of non-existent like i tried buffing myself I don't know if it follows the 1.2 times or 1.3 times damage that breakdancing has, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it. Uh, you know what? I think there's a lot of styles in A tier already. Uh, B tier, haven't really seen better performances by other people um, with Kung Fu because everyone went Retsu and breakdancing and all that. So I don't see a lot of Kung Fu's. Uh, maybe people can salvage out of the barrages, but, you know, I, honestly, I, I see it as beats here. I don't know what you shinobi think. You might say that, oh, why did you move it down or something? I, I honestly, I'm going with my gut feelings as well. I'm going to take that into consideration uh, because that's what bases your opinions, what you feel about it. And if a lot of people feel that Kung Fu is not A tier, then I might eventually think and test that if Kung Fu is B tier or less, then I'll put it at B tier or less. Right now, I've tested Kung Fu, and uh, all I can say is the barrage kind of carries. And when I miss the barrage, it's kind of it's kind of dangerous because Crane Kick can only do so much, and uh, Counter can only do so much. Like uh, I might get hit way harder than um, than I might when I counter back. Like, I still haven't figured out how to make counter work. Um, but, yeah, that's what I think about Kung Fu. Uh, it's, still, it's still solid, alright? It's still solid. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's B tier now. Um... I'm really trying to find the reasons why, but that's what I think. So yeah, there's there's Kung Fu. Muay Thai. People want to see me put it at C. I want to put it at B still. People want to see it at D. So let's compromise. Let's put Muay Thai at a fair C, alright? I was too generous with putting it at B, even though I kind of still think it, it is B tier. It's getting a C uh, because I know a lot of people will still say that Muay Thai is trash and all that. And I, honestly, I can't really beat uh, the majority of people. I'm not really a good arguer. 
I, I try to bring up some good points. But yeah, Muay Thai, it's still solid, all right? Maybe people haven't realized it yet. Maybe my videos didn't really get through. But Hip Breaker hits really hard, and you can hit stack it. Uh, flying Kick, less cooldown than Hip Breaker, which means you can do a Hip, break, uh, hip Breaker in second, right? So fl uh, Flying Kick, Hip Breaker, Flying Kick. Um, alternate between the M1 combos, you know, M1 combo, uh, fifth hit plus uh, flying kick, and then uh, M1 combo, fifth hit plus hip breaker, and all that. And the combo extender, I'm having trouble with, all right? I'm having trouble hitting the combo extender. I don't know why I keep whiffing it. Honestly, I, I don't know if it's just the game or not, but I, I can't seem to hit it, all right? And even if I do hit it, there's still a possibility that I get hit immediately after it. I don't know where the stun went, but it's supposed to blind people, right? I got hit with it once. It's supposed to blind, and I don't know how I'm getting hit still. Maybe I'm too close, or maybe whiffing a lot is saying something about Muay Thai's hitbox. I don't know. They need. I don't know if it needs a, a buff on hitbox or anything, but a lot of people complain about the M1. And so, Muay Thai is C tier. I can't fight it anymore. I can't really be generous because a lot of people will flame me for it. Uh, I, I wish I can say who cares what the people think, but I'm ranking this based off of not only my opinion anymore. It's the opinion of the Discord server and um, commenters on YouTube. So I'm, I'm, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place with Muay Thai. I just feel like putting it in C tier is probably for the best. Alright, so now we have Karate. I think I might put Karate at... Man, this is hard. Uh, B tier as well. Spear Kick is good. Don't get me wrong. It's what carries Karate. Zenkutsu Barrage though. Man, if you get hit before you even um, start doing the Barrage, it cancels out. You can't hit any hits unless they back away. So if they're hyper aggressive, they're super aggressive. Uh, aggressive. They're breathing down your your throat, your neck. They are not gonna let you barrage. So that's really that really sucks because you have a start. You have a startup with Zenkutsu barrage, and it's like if you get hit, it's over. Like the whole move is just gone. So yeah, and. Uh, Karate's double roundhouse still has no knockback and you still get punished for it. Like there is no there's no knockback, there's no stun at all. Like, oh my gosh. At this point, double roundhouse is just one of those moves that a style has. Like it's not really useful now. Like it's not as useful as the other two uh moves, but if you hit it, you hit it. If it works, it works. I don't know if it guard breaks, but yeah, I have I have to put Karate in B tier because uh, Double Roundhouse is not the best, and uh, Spear Kick might be over relied on, and Zenkutsu Barrage has a slow startup. But don't get me wrong, I've seen a lot of Karate users beat Retsu users. I've seen a lot of Karate users beat Breakdancing. It's nothing to take away from karate. I, I still believe that it has a good barrage. You just need to time it properly. Uh, same with spear kick. You, I think you can uh, hit stack with spear kick if you're fast enough. So, yeah, I'll keep it at B tier. All right? it's, it shouldn't be too uh, too bad, right? It should, it's not the worst style. Um, all right, kickboxing might go in B tier as well. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot to throw at ascending blow i don't know why it's just i it can't even end the fights all right i have to use it somewhere near the beginning or i i use it as a last resort if i can't out punch i just use the barrage to just get quick hits in and get the animation going so that i can create some space you know but the damage is kind of lacking still i I don't even know if they try to buff it or not. Uh, Dismantling Strike. Uh, it should be renamed to Dismantling Strikes. You know, plural, because it's two kicks. 
it's a high and a low. Uh, it's a good combo extender. It might hit better than Muay Thai. Uh, so that improves kickboxing a bit. Uh, axe kick is what makes kickboxing shine, though. But the hitboxes are kind of wonky nowadays. I don't know. I keep missing axe kick in 1v1s, and I don't know why. I've seen people axe kick people, like flying axe kick. And there's like no damage. They get punished. It's crazy. Uh, it's supposed to be a really hard hitting move that has hyper armor. And believe it, uh, believe it, it does work. It does work. I've hit it. Um, maybe I'll put it in A tier as well. Maybe B tier. No, I'll put it at B tier. As much as I want to put it at A tier again, uh, with the problems of the game or ping has, uh, for a lot of people, not just me, I, I feel like it, it just has to sit in B tier for now. Alright, I'm putting Baki at A. Uh, the only thing holding Baki back from S is Shokeken is inconsistent and Rock Throw can be missed a lot. Th those are the only two reasons why. Otherwise, it's got really good damage for each skill. Uh... You know, uh, unlike uh, Retsu's um, barrage, it doesn't have any barrage. What am I saying? What am I talking about? Oh, no, I've lost myself. I was going to say uh, Retsu's invisible squash might be the better projectile. I don't know, because it's it's invisible while you have uh, rock throw with a... A predictable animation you know what's gonna happen uh, I don't know if they're fast like are they the same speed I, I'm really confused but I'm taking to account that after five hits you can throw the rock which leads to some more damage uh, I've always tried to do that and also the uh, oh man why am I why am I thinking of um, Yujiro, ne never mind. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I think of Baki style. Like, I, I can't really get uh, really lost about the style. The damage is there, all right? It's just that Shokeken can't hit all the time, and the rock throw is kind of eh. And also, Cockroach Dash can't hit at the end, so you have to hit it in the beginning. But believe me, Cockroach Dash does a lot of damage. And 1, 2, 3, 4 Cockroach Dash is still... I, I can probably... That alone. like It might propel you to uh, M1 combo again. So like you literally hurl you and the target into the same space, kind of. So you could try an M1 combo them. Or they might do it to you. It's risky. But if you hit it, it's worth it. And the damage doesn't lie, alright? The, the damage is there. And yeah, I'm feeling really tired now, so yeah, I gotta gotta get a move on, gotta get a grip of myself before I sleep, and then the recording's gonna reach like five hours, and I wake up, and I'm like, what happened? So yeah, I gotta, I, I'm gonna hurry it up, because um, I'm feeling tired. Uh, let me sip uh, water. Maybe I'll take a nap after this, I don't know. I probably won't. I'm not one to take naps. Anyways, Gaia. It's military, but made for AoE. A tier. Uh, I feel like it, it does its job. It keeps people away. You can troll. It's just that the startup for the invisible sand move is too long. Uh, Rage Scream, uh, it's good in team fights. It stops everyone from fighting, right? But I'm not taking that into consideration. Uh, I think AoE in 1v1s is still good. Like, it has the bleeding effect. Uh, Adrenaline should boost damage as well. Maybe I'll put it at S. I'll keep Gaia at S. But people have said that Gaia is bad. And I don't know why. So, for those people who think that guy is bad and don't want to see it S tier, maybe I'll put it, I'll stick it, I'll stick it at A. Because it's still a really good style. It's just, 
I I don't know. I don't know why. I actually don't know why I'm putting all of these stuff in A and B. I put Muay Thai at C because like people won't stop complaining about it. But yeah, for some of these styles, I can't really decide. That's why I might re rechange it. I might change it. And hand pocket uh, goes in easy A tier because of damage. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Hand pocket really improved. And there's a glitch where the last hit of the pocket barrage, um, the last hit won't register, but the stun from the second to last hit is still there, so you can M1 combo out of it. And yeah, and for uh, consecutive kicks, no one knows when you're going to do that. The animation is so slick. Like, next thing you know, you're trying to rush at them, they do the consecutive kick. Like, it's like the actual Ron uh, Shobun there like you don't expect him to hit first but yeah the range is kind of eh um i've seen people struggle to hit uh with hand pocket sometimes but overall it, it's damage gets in an a tier so here's the list am i proud of it not really uh maybe it needs some adjusting uh, like, for example, I can still put these two at S, but then we have a lot of S tiers, so maybe not. Uh, and I've, I've tried to think of the negatives first before I get to the positives. That might uh, affect people. So, yeah, Taekwondo is still solid. Like, all right, so S is all right. S is, like, easy, easy to use. A, it's like easy, but damage kind of, but damage uh, and speed, uh, speed, oh man, I can't fit it, easy, but damage slash speed issue, I, I don't know, B is like solid, but um, needs buffs. All right, C is just underrated. Uh, D, there's no D. E, it's eh. E is like untapped potential. So yeah, that's how I based it off of like easy uh, slash OP slash um uh more highs no more highs than lows I, I don't know that that's what I based it off of uh, the people have their opinions on breakdancing and all that uh, like I, I don't know I'm just rearranging them in any order they're not in order all right so yeah th that's what I think that's what I think and uh all right 33 minutes so i took around the same time uh wait damage speed uh hitbox issue okay uh if any of you skip to this part of the video there you go that's my reasonings or re there's no such thing as reasonings there there's all my reasoning from all the styles actually hold on yeah i i, I don't know uh, there, it's it's just reasoning these are uh these are my reasons uh man uh my english is not doing so well but yeah that, that's what i think if you tuned in and skipped all the way to here then those are my reasonings for it uh <laughs> It, yeah, it, it's all. That's all I'm. That's all I have for um, this video. So if you still have some bones to pick, like just say your reasons why this style should be in here, this style in that tier, this style in this tier. You know, this should go up. This should go down. Please leave your respectful comments down below. All right. If you like the video, please leave a like and uh, share the video with the people that you know. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the dojo to check out more daily Roblox content as a new shinobi recruit. Just remember that you are not alone in the world. You are worth something. I'm Ninja Sifu and I'm out of here.